Hey, welcome back to my channel, Riddle here. Today I'm going to try to cover a pretty complex topic, and that is watering. Now it doesn't seem like watering would be such a complex topic, but it isn't just tossing some water on the top of your soil. <sighs> you know, especially if you have a good garden thriving, and then you have to leave for a week or so, and you have a friend watch it, and you come back and everything's dead or just really stressed out. What you have to understand about water, and this completely depends on your flower pots, if you have a potted plant you're watering, or a garden, is something called soil percolation. What soil percolation is, is the ability for your soil to absorb water. Now, in the heat of summer, you may have to water twice. Generally, this is more important for seedlings Right now I'm having to water this twice a day because, of course, the roots of your seedlings can't go down very deep in the soil. So by midday, if you have heat in the high 80s or higher, the soil is going to dry out. The roots are not going to be able to reach water any deeper than an inch, inch and a half, and they're going to get stressed out. It's going to force them to bolt or die. So with seedlings, you always go to your soil and you want to stick your finger, dig down in the soil, and it should be moist at least two inches below the soil. And that's when you know or how you can tell if your garden needs water or not. Now with larger plants, more established plants like this tree, it's almost the opposite. Again, you really need to check the soil, but you need to dig down a little deeper because this plant has a deeper root system and if you overwater it, it's going to get sickly and I have overwatered it by mistake. And with the help of some friends, good uh, intentioned friends. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to back off from the fruit trees right now, giving them water because they've had a little too much water. So I'm gonna try to show you an example of this again. So just because you put the water on top of the soil doesn't mean that it's permeated the soil. And the thing is, if you're just putting a little bit of water on the garden, you may as well just be throwing your water away. It's a tremendous waste of resources. Now this is a mound of soil that I've done here, and so it dries out rather quickly. I didn't compress it well enough. I just wanted to do a mound to get some peas growing up in the back here and some cucumbers. But we're gonna go down here to our soil Gonna dig down and see what's happening. Very moist. So I've done an effective job. I'm down two inches. The soil's still wet and dark, so this does not need any water right now. Let's look over here at this point. It's uh, pretty moist. This, see how that's a little drier? As I go down a couple inches, it's still pretty moist. That may need a little water today. So you understand basically what you need to do you really got to get your finger in things. Whether it's a pot or whether it's your actual dirt, the only way you really know if something needs to be watered is by going down an inch or two with your finger and seeing how deeply the water has uh, penetrated your soil. And this will guarantee that you're not underwatering and you're using enough water to make it worth the resource and to make your garden thrive especially in the summer heat. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. If you like my quick tips and money-saving ideas and garden wisdom, please subscribe, it helps, and share the videos too. Thanks a lot.